In today's video I'm going to show you how to download and install Orca. It's a tool used for customizing MSI files. And always when I'm trying to find it on Google, I always end up in fishy third-party sites. And I will begin this video from Windows SDK uh, downloads page. I will leave the URL in the description down below because we can we can install uh, Orca from Windows SDK pa package. As you can see here, we have two download links. One is the installer and other one is ISO. But there is a big difference between them. This contains, the ISO contains all the tools already in it. That means it's large in size. So if you have a slow internet, I suggest that you download the installer. In this case, I will select both of them. And as you can see, the installer instantly uh, completed the download and the ISO file is still downloading because it's 1.1 gigabytes. And now I will go to my downloads folder. And as you can see, I have both of those files. And one of them is one gigabyte and other one is one megabyte. So the difference is big. Uh, I will show you how to install from both of them. I will begin with the ISO because it's the easiest. I just mount it. Yes. And we have the executable here, but we don't need it. Let's go to installers. And here, let's search for Orca MSI. Yeah, this file right here. I'll double click it. Click yes. And that's basically it. Now we have the edit with Orca button here. And as you can see, we can edit the Orca MSI file with Orca. And it works just fine. I will quickly remove uh, Orca from my computer now. And now let's try the executable. Because the Mm, because it's a little bit different. Click next. And click next once again. Accept. And here the only thing that we want to select is the MSI tools. So uncheck everything else. And click install. Yes. And now let's go to this computer. C drive uh, because it didn't install Orca it only installed the installers so now we need to go uh, to the dicta directory where it installed the installers and installed Orca from there so it's in C drive by default and program files x86 and then Windows kits 10 bind and as you can see, we have another ORC executable here. We double click it. Click yes. And once again, we have ORC installed. And that, that's it for this video. In the future, I will be making uh, guide videos about customizing MSI files. So if you're interested in that, you can subscribe to this channel. And see you in the next one.